Welcome to Top Picks, your ultimate destination for the top picks of all things captivating and remarkable. Flying Car Company creates behind the scenes video. Test Flies Indoors, a flying car company in Florida, has created a behind the scenes video detailing the development of its two seater FTOR, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, Doroni Aerospace, a seven year old startup in Pompano Beach. A Florida beach town, just north of Fort Lauderdale, has test flown its vehicle inside a large building. The electric aerial vehicle EAV has relatively simple controls. It's a simple joystick, just a joystick going forward, backwards, left, right, up and down, CEO Doran Merdinger told IT World today. Think about the three-dimensional elevator. The company has applied to the Federal Aviation Administration FAA for official test clearance and aims to ship. Vehicles in 2025. Flying car test flight goes over buildings, lands, $500 million raised. An EVTOL electric vertical takeoff and landing. Vehicle created by a Chinese automaker subsidiary completed an autonomous test of flight this week. The two-seater X to flying car took off, flew over buildings and landed, showcased in a short video by the company. The company behind the electric aerial vehicle, EAV is Xpeng Aerot, a subsidiary of Chinese automaker Xpeng, Inc., believed to be the largest flying car company in Asia. With more than 800 employees, the company recently flew its EAV across the Xiong River in Hunan, province, China. Xpeng Aerod, which has raised more than $500 million, launched the first public flight demonstration of its EAV in front of crowds in Dubai last year. For example, Chinese flying car company Ahang Holdings recently completed the tests and flights in the last phase of demonstration and verification of compliance and completed the definitive type certification TC flight test. That was the final milestone before full certification by the Civil Aviation Administration of China, CAAC, which accepted the company's TC application in 2021. In Japan, a joint research study to popularize flying cars by Japanese university and insurance group is getting underway. The study aims to create new industries using flying cars, including an air logistics business, air taxis, and regional tourism business. The study partners are the Jose University Graduate School, Urban Air Mobility Research Institute, INSA Dow Insurance, and MS, and AD Interisk Research Institute. And in the US this week, Aleph Aeronautics showcased its flying car at the Detroit Auto Show. The vehicle also was flown during the media days of the auto show. Flying cars and quantum computers have long been shorthand for technologies of the future, but they are both here and are now and on the verge of revolutionizing the world of transportation. Piloted and non-piloted passenger electric aerial vehicles, EAVs are taking off with a surge of investments underway and the FAA having set 2028 of the year in which EAVs will be commercialized in a major way, quantum computing is experiencing similar growth, with the market predicted to be worth $170 billion by 2032 and many current real-life use cases, already proving its value. However, the commercialization of flying cars will introduce several challenges in determining the optimum flight path to save money and fuel while staying safe. Flight path calculation is a critical risk management use case that needs to consider factors including the time, speed, and route of the journey while satisfying space constraints and minimizing risks related to weather, obstacles, and other aircraft. This risk-based, multi-factor decision-making is an example of a real-world complex optimization problem ideally suited to certain types of quantum computing. Some organizations have already run trials on fleets of unmanned aerial vehicles, which face similar challenges. Quantum Computing Inc. QCI launched a partnership with the Virginia Innovation Partnership Corporation VIPC last October to determine the best flight trajectories for UAVs. 
using QCI's Catalyst software and Quantum Photonic Systems hardware, giving an update on the program. QCI Chief Technology Officer Bill McGann said, The lessons learned could easily scale to passenger aircraft. The VIPC heavy lift drone project is probably the best example of a transportation routing. Optimization program we've done. It's multi-dimensional. With things moving in X, Y and Z planes, McGinn explained. When you're doing routing for a flying car, you have the ordinary optimization problem challenges. But also imagine if it crashes. You don't want it to be in a heavily populated area. This extra degree of freedom of motion is good for collision avoidance. But it makes the complexity of the problem much greater. McGann said QCI discovered that when the constraints for an on-time delivery are added to the routing problem, it quickly becomes intractable for classical computers. The project demonstrated that it was feasible on QCI's entropy quantum computer and that it could scale as the hardware becomes more capable. I think the VIPC problem would scale very well into passenger transportation, manned or unmanned, like your Air Uber or Lyft, he said. But there'd be additional constraints, like on-time delivery points, which makes the problem very challenging, plus a lot more safety constraints with people on board. We can imagine that when you put a person inside of a vehicle that's now being autonomously flown or driven you have other criteria caused by the interaction between the vehicle and the person. QCI was not the first company to explore the potential of quantum solutions for flying cars. Japan-based Sumitomo Corporation, Tohoku University and Unmanned Traffic Management Solutions Specialist. Once key systems started investigating quantum solutions specifically for flying cars back in 2021. The Quantum Sky project demonstrated using quantum computing to develop a real-time three-dimensional traffic control system for the era when hundreds or even thousands of M-mobility vehicles would be flying in the sky. The researchers claimed their simulation improved the number of flying vehicle. That could fly simultaneously by about 70. Beyond efficient routing and safe flying, quantum computing could also help the design of flying cars. Automobile and aircraft manufacturers are using quantum algorithms to develop novel materials and chassis shapes optimized for efficient aerodynamics. And impact resistance. And several quantum research projects are revolutionizing battery design by studying the very quantum physics that underlies the technology. Hope you would have liked our video subscribe our channel for more amazing videos.